As you check back in with Paul, I mean, that's a scary situation for anyone, yeah. but the, that ground is so saturated right now, so we may see more trees falling, but at least we have a chance to dry out at least for a bit. Yeah, the next several days do look dry, and even once we see a return to the rain chances early next week, they're going to be light to moderate mm -hmm. rain chances, not a return of the heavy rain that we were dealing with for so much of the last several days. Still a couple showers out there right now. The last of those showers winding down here over the next couple of hours, and then we get to settle into our dry stretch of weather for the rest of tonight, tomorrow, Friday, and even into Saturday. Another look at the first low Doppler loop over the past couple of hours. You can see the activity really collapsing in the North Bay. The one heavier downpour that we have around Antioch is moving farther to the east through the Delta. And it's going to move out of the Bay Area as we head through about the next 45 minutes or so. Looking outside from Salesforce Tower, looking to the north and seeing plenty of billowing clouds still on the horizon. The atmosphere still somewhat unstable. Temperatures in the mid to upper 50s to around 60 degrees. In between the showers, it was a pleasant day today, and we should see pleasant and temperatures again tomorrow after we see some locally dense fog dissipate. That's going to be a factor for the morning commute. That fog is going to be filling in as we head through the rest of tonight into early tomorrow morning. All the gray on the map is going to gradually dissipate as we head towards late morning and midday. The fog is going to be present the next couple mornings, but it's the Bay Area. We're used to the fog. We can definitely handle that. Temperatures later on tonight are going to drop down to the low to mid 40s for most of the Bay Area. Some of the coolest spots right around 40 degrees. Some of the warmer locations maybe in the upper half of the 40s. And then high temperatures tomorrow are going to warm up to near or slightly above what's normal for this time of year. All the way up to 66 degrees in San Jose. That's a few degrees above average. Mostly mid 60s in the Santa Clara Valley. Other inland parts of the Bay Area mostly topping out in the low 60s. 62 degrees in Concord is technically a couple degrees below average, but it's going to be a pleasant day nonetheless. Upper 50s along the coast of Half Moon Bay, just above 60 for San Francisco and temperatures inland in the North Bay, also reaching up into the low 60s by tomorrow afternoon with similar temperatures in store on Friday and the weather is looking really nice as we start the weekend. Let's take a look at the forecast for the Chinese New Year Parade on a Saturday. Break kicks off at 515. Of course, the crowds are going to gather before that. Temperatures are going to be in the mid 60s at four o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday, even for downtown San Francisco and still in the upper 50s as we head towards 8 o'clock in the evening. Now, farther down the line, we do have a return of the rain chances. So let's talk about that again. It's light to moderate rain. We've got our side by side forecast models and they're in general agreement that our next chance of rain is going to move in Sunday and linger into Monday where the differ is on the specifics exactly when the rain arrives, the intensity of that rain. But at worst, I think we'd be looking at some moderate rainfall rates, not enough to lead to any flooding concerns. And then they have some differences in terms of how much shower activity is going to linger into Monday night and maybe Tuesday. And of course, you see plenty of snow flying in the Sierra. It does look like this is going to be a more efficient snowmaker in the higher elevations as opposed to a rainmaker around the Bay Area. But even farther down the line, we're looking at a good chance of a wetter than normal pattern as we finish off the month of February and head into early March. The 8 to 14 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center takes us some leap day into the first several days of March, and that's a significant chance of wetter than normal conditions returning to the Bay Area. So let's enjoy this little break while it lasts. Check out the seven day forecast and it's been a minute since we've had a few consecutive dry days, even with a mix of clouds and sunshine overhead. Temperatures are going to warm up, in fact, into the mid to upper 60s for most of the Bay Area on Saturday and still near average temperatures, even with increase in clouds and increasing rain chances, mainly late in the day Sunday. I don't think it's going to be a washout. Monday looks like the wettest day we'll see for a while with those light to moderate rain showers. And then we dry out again Tuesday and Wednesday, maybe a touch below average for those high temperatures to finish the month of February. But again, dry weather. We can handle it.